Hey guys, let's do a couple of questions on operations on decimal fractions. Well, the answer to this question is very simple. All you have to do is write the numbers one below each other, keeping the decimal point aligned, and then perform the desired operation. So let's do that. I have the number 247.92. Then below that, I would write 84.491 keeping the decimal point in its position so here is the decimal point on the left I have 84 on the right I have 4 9 and 1 then the third number 5.3 in the blank spaces I can always put zeros so to make it simple let me put the zeros here so there you go now we can perform the addition of these three numbers so 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1, 9 plus 2 is 11, so I have 1 carry here, 9 plus 1 is 10, 4 plus 3 is 7, so 10 plus 7 is 17, so here is 7, 1 carry, 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 5 is 17, so again 7, 1 carry, 8 plus 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13, so 3, 1 carry, and 2 plus 1 is 3 and there's the decimal point there you go there's the answer 337.711 so option C is the right answer okay now let's move on to question number 2 now to make things simpler let us modify the expression we can write this expression as 235.7 691 minus then we have 43.3 we are actually taking the minus out of these two terms so minus 43.3 so minus becomes plus 103.477 now we will first add these two terms and then subtract it from this term so let's add these two terms so I have 103.477 plus I have 43.3 .3. so the 7 come down as it is 4 plus 3 is again 7 dot which is the decimal point 3 plus 3 is 6 4, 10 plus 4 is 14 so 146.777 this goes there now we have to subtract 146.777 from 235.691 let's do that 235.6 691 minus 146.777 taking one carry so 11 minus 7 is 4 this one comes down here so 7 becomes 8 9 minus 8 is 1 6 minus 7 we cannot perform so taking carry 16 minus 7 is 9 this one comes down here so this becomes 7 now 15 minus 7 is 8 this becomes 5 13 minus 5 is 8 so we have 8 here this one comes down this becomes 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so we have 88.914 and that is the answer question 3 you have to find out the value of x from this expression we can take x on the right hand side and bring all the other terms to the left hand side of the equal to so we have 148.009 plus 241.981 minus 126.0205 then again this comes to the left hand side so it becomes minus 123.6 equals to x now let's add these two terms so 148.009 plus 241.981 so 9 plus 1 is 10 1 carry 8 plus 1 is 9 9 8 plus 1 is again 9 4 plus 4 is 8 2 plus 1 is 3 so we have 389.990 and then we have to subtract from it the addition of these two terms so this becomes minus if we put on brackets so this becomes 126.205 plus 
six. So let's add these 126.205 plus 123.600. So 5 plus 0 is 5, 0 plus 0 is 0, 6 plus 2 is 8, 6 plus 3 is 9, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus, I'm sorry, 1 plus 1 is 2. So you have 249 going here. Now you have to perform subtraction of these two terms. Uh, let me write it here 389.990 minus 249.805. So 10 minus 5 is 5, this becomes 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 8 is 1. There's the decimal point. 9 minus 9 is 0. 8 minus 4 is 4. 3 minus 2 is 1. So the answer is 140.185. Let's move on to question number four. Okay, you are, you are asked how many digits are there to the right of decimal point when these two numbers are multiplied. So, you know, we, we don't need to multiply these two numbers completely. We can directly find out how many digits are there on the right of the decimal point. First, let me write the numbers here. 3.14123 and I have 1.1. 231. Let's count the digits on the right hand side of the decimal point of the first number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5 digits here. And of the second number on the right hand side of the decimal point, we have 3 numbers, 3 digits basically. To find out how many digits are there on the right of the decimal point of the product of these two numbers, just add these two digits. So we have 5 plus 3 which is 8. So when you multiply these two numbers you will get 8 digits on the right hand side of the decimal point and that is guaranteed. So the answer is option A. Okay now let us solve the final question of this video. So whenever you have such situation where the numerator and the denominator have equal number of digits on the right hand side of the decimal point. So you can just write them without the decimal points. So this becomes 36 by 4 plus 18 by 6 to the whole square. And these two terms have exactly the same value. So we can solve this 4 1s are 4, 4 9s are 36, 6 1s are 6, 6 3s are 18. So we have 9 plus 3 whole square. And 9 plus 3 is 12. So 12 square, which comes out as 144. 12 square is 144. So this is the right answer, 144.